Hello everybody, we're about a minute to the Xbox conference for E3 2017. I'm joined once again by Keith and Jarrett. Hello. What are you? And I apologize if the audio output is a bit loud. Well, hey, it won't be too bad. I have to be quiet regardless. Thank God. <laughs> tool. That's my name, don't wear it out. Yeah, at least you're useful. <laughs> anyway, so, Microsoft E3 2017. The conference will be starting here very shortly. And by shortly, mean Late. about 15 seconds. 15 seconds. Alright guys, enjoy the show, and we shall try to give you guys our live feedback as to what we see as we're watching it. I'm... By the way, I am not currently uh, where they are at, where Kyle and Jarrett are at right now. I'm actually in Smithville uh, on family vacation. I'm just stealing the theater room for a little bit while I watch it. And conference is starting. Here we go. At some point. Very soon. Yep, I got it right here. It's starting. Okay, uh, so should be starting at any second. There we go, now we're starting. Oh god, not this. It's starting for you? Yeah. It's already started for me, I'm ahead of y'all. That 1280 by 720p, mmm. Oh crap. You gonna watch it with me, Gramsci? There we go. Okay, I didn't mean to wake you up, I'm sorry. Okay. See you later, Gramps. I'll be up there in a minute. Once this is all over. Sorry, that was my grandfather. He was taking a nap on the couch across from me. But now I could be louder, so there we Microsoft go. Microsoft exclusives. Exclusives. So I see, I see nothing but COD, God of War, Witcher. I'm obviously ahead of you guys right now because I'm on the Twitch stream. I'm on the yeah. Twitch uh, stream too, dude. Can you guys change over to the YouTube stream so we're syn synced up? Hold on, let me see if I can. Woo, it's the Xbox briefing. Woo. Oh, they're doing the Scorpio. Yeah, they're doing the Scorpio. I'm going to switch back over to YouTube right quick so I can... I'm going to stay ahead because I'm too lazy to find a YouTube link. I will send it to you in Discord. Come on, pull up. Are we starting with a trailer? Oh, okay. Showing the uh, stamping for Scorpio. What is this? They're showing Scorpio. Oh, that's uh, Shadow of Mordor. They're showing yeah, oh, that looks... Scorpio. Oh, that looks cool. Uh, Jarrett, go to the, that link to sync up with us. Just do it. It's over sunk. It's over sunk. Come on. I don't even have a link. It's in okay, Discord. There. It's in Discord. They had to start off on YouTube late. So they're showing... Ooh, yay. Shout out I've lost more. all audio somehow. So oh, no, don't pause it. So they're showing off Shadow of War, they got Halo, I'm guessing that's Forza. I see Diablo. Somebody standing in mist. Try on the controller. Oh, those goosebumps. This controller. Do you it's guys so see the Xbox? Do y'all see the Xbox? Uh oh. no, we're on the thing with the controller. Oh, Gears of Wars. The Balrog. Let me know when you guys get to feel, when you guys get past feel true power. Is that Scorpio? No, oh, that's a real Xbox One. Let me know when you guys get past feel true power. They just showed something I don't recognize. We're getting past it right now. They're showing right, off I'm... the, I'm seeing the physical Xbox right yeah. now. Yeah. Feel true power. Uh, yeah. Is that Scorpio? That's just a regular Xbox One. It that's might be. Is it though? 
I don't know. Head of Xbox, Phil Spencer. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh God, Phil. Phil, please. So, I guess I'm still is the a little Xbox bit One gonna? Guys. Is the Xbox One gonna turn on this year? Xbox, turn. Is your Xbox off? Now it is. Oh my God, he's trying to look so relatable. It's totally working. Oh my god, it's 4K. Thank you. Welcome to E3 2017. I like that subtle, like, hey, use Mixer. I believe, don't they own Mixer? Please use our service. Money, money, fuck Sony. Money. True hardware and technical innovation. Very debatable. Pre proud? And today we are pre Yeah, there's power grade in the next. Xbox One y, X. Z, Double A, Double B, so on. Xbox One X. It's called Xbox Scorpio. Uh, Scorpio was the uh, working title. I know it's working out, but it's still not better than that. Xbox One. Ugh. Wait, 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 listen. Sets a new quality standard for gamers and game creators. Starting on November 7th, Xbox One X joins... Okay. The you know what? It actually looks kind of nice. Worldwide. It reminds me of the original fatty PlayStation 2. Yeah. It does. Gamers and developers. Please welcome Kareem Chowdhury. Tell you more. I still don't care. Oh god, I hope this isn't a developer. As a developer, we don't do well in front of the camera. <laughs> software, oh, the software engineer. <laughs> Thanks, Phil. It's an honor to He looks so awkward. Goddamn management. Money, money, money. They have like that's the second set of three goals they have to, they wanted. Okay. <laughs> this 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 tells me nothing about the power. What's the CPU running at? How big is the GPU? I mean, it's slimmer freaking SSD. It's slimmer than uh, Xbox One S, so that's definitely not good. True 4K, apparently. Big, apparently. Yeah, but Sony calls that they have true 4K, and that's just 2K with interlacing. And when we say true 4K, we mean... See, my TV doesn't support any of this, so I don't care. <laughs> The T the 4K TV in your house can't even play that, Jarrett. Look, it could. Mm. I probably won't use it though. It's kind of sad they have to advertise 4K Blu-ray playback when the PlayStation can already do that. Compatibility. Well, I hope so. Well, that's good. I mean, it should be getting. Why is that news? Yeah. Why, why, why is that news? That should just be something that just happened. Look at you, Nintendo, Sony. The game library you have today will look and play even better on Woo? With enhanced visual fidelity. Woo? And faster load times. Even if you haven't made the jump to a 4K TV yet, the Diamond Star X is here to tell us. Since Xbox One, Woo? Woo? Look, something PC's had for like a decade. And finally, craftsmanship. We make sure you paid attention to every detail of design crafted on the most technically advanced console. 
Stick a fucking V on in there. Can I play VR? No, you gotta play that. Uh, what? HoloLens? You gotta play every game in HoloLens. Mm. You look down above. You're playing Call of Duty, but you're looking above the whole area, but still controlling. Did you see that? It's liquid cooled vapor chamber. Eh. You don't even bother. You, you don't even have to use. It's really on high end anymore. You can use it on lower end. You so can't give more. <clears throat> So we took a board, soldered everything to it, and called it a computer. Yes. <laughs> Solder a little monitor to it. Or get a USB monitor. Oh, wow, that's pretty freaking tiny. Wow, that is small. The cooling worries me. Because you have a small yeah. case with a bunch of higher end parts. Did you guys hear that? Ow! <laughs> oh god, what is this? Please don't make the game. Xbox One Windows 10 exclusive. This looks like trash. The way I'm seeing it on a projector, it looks sick. Those rock textures. Looks like a decent quality game. Awful. Yeah, those rock textures. All these textures look like this, trash. This reminds me of like Fallout New Vegas rock textures and ground textures. Is this Mad Max? I don't be another Mad Max game. Nobody bought the first one. No, nope, it's Ma not Mad Max. No. If it's the other Forza. Super car right there. I don't know, for some reason the outfit makes oh it's Forza. Yeah, it's for I don't care about Forza that much. I mean, New it's Forza not a terrible. Game. But it's not like a sports game. It's not absolutely terrible, but New Forza game, you play as the pit crew, and only the pit crew. <laughs> Honestly, as a mini game that could be interesting, but not a full game. Like pit crew mode in a game? It's like a bunch of uh yeah like in the cars game that was for playstation 2 oh god i had that game that game was so, man, so bad car 3 coming for wii u boys that game was so bad but i enjoyed it so much Ooh, they got drag racing hello i miss i'm all I, about that i miss being a little kid and just you know sitting down and playing absolutely trash movie tie-ins and thinking they were decent games hey man the thorough wasn't that it's a truck it's a truck Spoilers. Get it? Because there's... Never mind. You have awful jokes. It was funny and you know it. That really. It oh, Greenawalt. I need that last name. That's a beautiful last name. Dude looks like the most awkward nerd ever. He sounds like... His name makes him sound like a professional poet. I am D.B. Greenawalt. What? Only Gooch will care about this. <laughs> sexy car? Sexy car? Kyle's gonna get out of control. <laughs> He's gonna run down to LA and steal it. How do you just get a car into there? Believe me, you don't want it. It's magic. They're at the LA Convention Center doing this. I'm yeah. just wondering where the hell, how, where, where do you get a car in That's there? in a Coliseum. Oh, they're in a, okay, they're not in the yellow, the Lake Avengers Center. <clears throat> they might be, I don't know. There you go, Gooch. Whoa! <laughs> Holy shit, that's a nice car. That is, is probably a, a six-figure car. This is a car for a video game. Oh.
That is, I'm, yeah, I'm live streaming this, by the way. Oh, that hi. is be quiet. I'm on a live stream. <laughs> My sister's in the room, so that just meet yourself. Easily a six yeah. six figure card. I'd say nine figure at least. No, that's not a million dollars. That, that is, is. There's no million dollar portion. That is, it, it it depends on if it's like exclusive to like one car. Yeah, but that's not a one car. That's a. Hold on, hold on. I mean, it's a sick fucking car, but I'd rather get I'd rather get a Tesla person. Those things are just gas hard. What do you, what do you think that car gets? Five miles to the gallon? No, dude, that thing's probably. How can it be a Forza driving coach? No, let's see if they're slightly better. Let's let's see if they're slightly better than the driving game EA showed off. Did you guys see that part? Need for speed? Yeah, they kept crashing into the barriers. It was hysterical. Ooh, Dubai. I'd hate to have to use one of those tiny screens sitting on the ground. I guess since this is Ooh, that Forza, was a Corvette that thing just passed by. I guess since this is a driving game, you don't really need to worry too much about the textures for the uh, no. for the mountains. No driving. If you can't see certain things, you're gonna be screwed over. The texture is huge. Yeah, we're, we were talking about the textures for the mountain because they were showing them and they look like something straight out of like Fallout New Vegas, which is like. Uh, that game's about six years old now. <sighs> oh man, it's so cool. Another Corvette? Oh. Those steering wheels oh. just seem so overdone. Look at this high speed action. I think those cars are actually going faster than they really are. The, I the hope so. This... I'm fairly certain those cars are slowed down. Yeah, this. Okay, there we go. No, I, I'm still fairly certain, looking at it, the cars are all going Whoa! lower than they normally would. <laughs> Alright, it looks like I'm buying a racing wheel. Are there any racing wheels for the Xbox One? Well, this is going to be released on PC, remember that? Oh, yeah. It'll be released on PC, and I'm going to play the hell out of this. I don't think yours could run it at 4K, but I think it could do 2K. Yeah, 1080, 1080-60 is more than enough for him. Is reborn in Forza. Whether running on the Xbox One family of consoles... <laughs> wow. Sports 7 is the most advanced and comprehensive racing game ever made. With more than 700 cars... Please tell me they have Corvettes. Oh no. Huge, but no I want to see this car in person. I want to see this car in person so bad. Is it for the 9-11 GT2R or something? That's the, that's the 2018. That's a brand new one. Rolled out just for this game. I want to see that car, guys. Oh my god, it's Phil Spencer, yes! I'm gonna play a ton of Forza Motorsport 7 when it dips on October 3rd. And when Xbox One X launches, you will all get to see The longer he stands on that stage, the less I think he's ever actually touched a video game in his life. He's just spouting off marketing battle. Today, we're gonna showcase the world's greatest creator with a lot of... <clears throat> For every type of gamer, you say. <laughs> Don't let DeviantArt hear you say that. <laughs> God help him. Did you make a custom Sonic game? Sonic Force. Yeah. Sonic Force, you make your own, make your own hedgehog. God There's 42 all. games going on stage, apparently. Oh, Finally! They're announcing exclusive games! There's 20 of them, apparently. 
Do it. Why can't we have a Windows conference as well, assholes? Halo. Wait, no, it's not Halo. 2010. What is? Oh no. <laughs> World premiere. Here we go. The Division Two. The Div <laughs> What? <laughs> Shut up. Uh, it might be. No, it's not. No. No, Division did not come out in 2010. Well, those aren't... Are those humans? Uh, good question. Evolve 2? No, it's not Evolve. <laughs> Isn't it... I think it's Metro. <gasps> Dead Space? No, it wouldn't be Dead Space. No, no, no. It, no Killzone. Not, no, because Metro... It's Killzone. No, Killzone's a Sony exclusive. Okay. I don't know what uh, this Metro is. 2033 was the sequel. And that, that's only a couple years old. I trust them so little, I was expecting that corpse to jump up. Same. Oh, yeah, God, it's I was a dragon. waiting for it. It's a dragon. So it's Skyrim in the future. I wouldn't be surprised. This is this supposed to be some kind of crap horror game? This is another stupid jump scare game. No, it's not. It's not going to be a jump scare. I don't think. Nope, jump scare. Whoa, jump scare. Fallout New hey, Vegas 2? Hey. Uh, no. Doubtful. There it is, yep. Jesus Christ. Jump scare monster. So is this like Microsoft's response to Doom? Maybe. Can they give us a name by chance? Not yet. Probably at the end. What is this game? Jesus. Wait till the end. Yeah, this is looking to me like it's supposed to be a Doom competitor. Jump scare at the end of this. Oh, we have to turn a wheel slowly. Oh. oh. Stab it with a knife. Uh, good for you, I guess? I don't know. Uh, Whoa. What? I don't know, but this game looks cool. Enemy hind. Uh, Russian hind helicopter. At least it was. Wait, <laughs> is this... Bioshock? What? No. No, no, no way. If it was no. Bioshock, you see more powers. It's not even the correct studio. Looks like another open world single player exploration game. So, crisis? in other words, no. Crisis? No, the cri Crisis Studio shut down. Because all I made was Crisis, and Crisis was a Find shit out. game. What is this? We can't wait till the end. This has my attention, I'll give it that. It's really interesting looking. I mean, so far it is looking like Crisis mixed with uh, Fallout, mixed with uh, some, uh... oh, what the hell is that game? Rest in peace, dog. It's like an air-powered nail gun. It's like a dart gun. <laughs> oh, rest in pee? Nope. I knew it. Hello, big guy. That, you really think that's gonna do damage? <laughs> run, fool, run. Why would you bother shooting it? It's a giant mole. Oh, it's a special one. <laughs> oh no, he's conveniently stuck on an edge. Fall. He's gonna take it with him, he's gonna get too close. Oh no, never mind. Nope. I'm ziplining. Oh, there's a train. He might either hit it or land on it. Land next to it. Red faction, maybe? 
Uh, I, I haven't seen any environment destruction. I saw so. a Russian flag. Okay, we're about to find out the title of this. What is this game? Oh, shit. My earbud fell out. That was a very jarring what is this game? transition. Oh, it is Metro! It is Metro! Metro... Exodus, okay, cool. Inspired by the novels Metro 2033 and 2035. Gonna be out next year. I mean, hey, that actually looks pretty cool. That looks pretty, that does look pretty sick. Another world premiere. No good, no, oh, no talking in between. That's how I like it. Assassin's Creed? <gasps> it is. Hold on, hold on, it might be. No, because the next Assassin's Creed is going to be an Egyptian one. This yeah, is Egyptian. This, I think... There's the eagle. Pyramids, tombs, yeah. assassins. Yeah, this is Assassin's Creed. I don't know. This looks... Oh, this... Please it... be Assassin's Creed. I don't think there's one Assassin's Creed trailer without a freaking eagle. I think Ubisoft would probably announce it during their conference. Oh, yeah, know. Ubisoft does have a conference. Please be Assassin's Creed. Oh, this maybe. This looks exact. Yeah, I, I think it is. Yep, Assassin's Creed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yay, slide down the pyramid. That's so weird why Ubisoft's not announcing it at their conference. I know. Well, they might show off more gameplay. Can I show me actual gameplay and I'll believe it. Or we could, it could just be the uh, arena thing. I'd be fine with just an arena fighter. Oh, uh, that'd be so cool to do arena fights. Creed. Make it about a half price game. Just an arena fighter with Assassin's Creed combat. I'm in. The Brotherhood begins. Oh my. Oh, Final Fantasy style fighting right there, son. All right, that was something. All right, I um. Assassin's Creed Origins, okay. Oh, John Gustav. Did they give a date? No, but it'll probably be out next year. <laughs> this is where Assassin's Creed yearly releases. I forgot Ubisoft Paris did this. Assassin's Creed Origins is taking you to the perfect setting for an epic gaming adventure. Egypt. 3,000 years of history and mystery at the tip of your fingertips. Assassin's Creed Origins is also the story of one man, Bayek. Bayek is the last Medjay. He's a minister, an Egyptian sheriff. Against the dark forces that corrupt and kill will lead to the foundation of the Assassin's Brotherhood. Its recreating entities will bring back so far and <coughs> push us to return. RPG. We added many RPGs to a huge sustained world. Oh, God. X they call it the X Bone! <laughs> That's funny. Look, RPG elements, as in we added about six more different types of fucking collectibles. Get it, world premiere. This is gameplay footage, so I really want to see how this works. I'm really confused why this is now and not at the Ubisoft conference. I know, that's, that's really weird. Maybe they'll give more in-depth stuff at the Ubisoft booth, or Ubisoft conference. It looks this good. But wait till it comes out. It looks good. Wait till it comes out. Yeah, that's a wait for the reviews after Unity. Well, something cute was good. I'll give it that. But Unity definitely. Unity was just a clusterfuck. Oh, he's black. Oh my god, they're actually adding diversity. He's what's Egyptian. That one... What would you expect? Was there that one black girl in um? Like, Assassin's Creed 3? I don't know. I can't remember the game. My 
I'm definitely giving Assassin's Creed one vibes. I like how he says my home, but the title says region discovered. <laughs> it's a little nitpick, maybe, but that just entertained me. Maybe he's coming back after all this time. I don't know. Maybe he's I'm coming back, back in my after hometown. A long time. Oh, here I go killing again. Find and kill um, that guy. Oh, okay, that's cool. Oh, that is pretty cool. <clears throat> what just happened? A hovering hawk. Interesting. Hawk slows down in just midair. It's like. I wonder if this is replacing the uh, assassin's vision. Maybe. Because it seems to be. It's marking targets. Yeah. Him and Farah must get along quite well then. So the dedicated stealth buttons back. I don't know how, or crouch, but I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah. As long as it's toggled. Uh oh. As long as Crouch is toggle and not hold. So they added a bow, unless it was in there previously. I'm guessing it's replacing the old guns. Yeah. It's an interesting stealth option. I'll give it that. I like how they consider him hidden in that grass that barely goes above his shins. Ooh. <clears throat> oh, that's back. So you can find new weapons. Legend. Nah, mm -hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know. I think it'd be pretty cool. My biggest concern you right now right is... there that it said poison? My biggest concern right now is... What freaking sensitivity is this person playing on? They're probably doing it for a cinematic effect. They always do this. <clears throat> it just irritates the hell out of me. I'd rather see somebody actually playing the game than doing this scripted crap. I mean, that's kind of what they do at every E3, Kyle. I know, and I hate when they do it at every E3. Suck it up, big boy. Never. Can you just Talk fly the team. eagle into the building? That would be great. Maybe. Just fly the eagle to the building, claw the guy's eyes out, and leave. I'd take that. I'm hoping they fix the climbing so it's not as janky as it has been since uh, the beginning. It wasn't that bad, too. It's always it's always been very janky, like jumping where you totally where you completely were not facing, and some things that look jumpable jumpable aren't. Some things that don't look jumpable are. I'm an assassin. I will run into the public and kill you. <laughs> <clears throat> That was dumb. He could have just gotten out of there hidden. Oh, you can control arrows. That's a bit broken, but hey. <laughs> Simple geometry. Simple geometry. October 27th of this year! Not bad. Not bad! Why wait for reviews? No, you haven't. Shut up. Always mixer. What the hell is? Oh god, they're not. They're not doing a focus. Oh god. Please use our service. 
I thought Microsoft already owned Beam. How the hell are they pushing another live streaming service? Player unknown battlegrounds. An early access PC game is coming for Xbox? What? Are you surprised? I mean, Player Unknown Battlegrounds is a pretty freaking great concept for a game. Grab some Kit Kats real quick. I like his shirt. Holy hell, they sold 3 million copies. I think that's kind of shitty that they are making an exclusive for just Xbox. That, that's what they need, huge. I know, but it still, it still should be for, like, PlayStation. Huge, that's what gets consoles to sell. Yeah, that's mm. that's why the PS Vita flopped. That's why yeah. Xbox One is dramatically behind PlayStation. And this is why PS4 is actually doing pretty good, because of their, all their exclusives. So, player unknown Battlegrounds. Absolutely nothing has changed. I like how they show two people working together. Like, that would ever happen in this game. This game is not a play-together game. It's a you-see-somebody-you-shoot-them-in-the-face kind of game. Have you guys played any player unknown yet? Nope. Don't play it on it. I might play it one day, but I'm... The whole thing with, like, the people driving the bridge and motorcycles, that would never happen. There'd just be one guy at the end with an AK-47 just pelting them with bullets. Also, that person just let the guy run up and hit without <laughs> ever shooting. <laughs> oh, I love that. Yeah, that pretty much sums up that game in a nutshell. I'm in a good defensive position. There's nobody around me. I'm going to crash down with my scope. Conk dead. Is this Lego? No, no, never mind. Looked like it. It's No Man's Sky. What is this? I don't know, but it looks fun as hell. It says enhanced. What? What game is this? Minecraft meets No Man's Sky? Meets Doom? Looks like Minecraft meets Dwarf Fortress. Oh my god, big guns, yes! They're dwarves. Deep what? <laughs> Deep Rock Galactic? Thank you for showing all these exclusives. Microsoft, you are winning back people. Are they going to say anything about that game? They just... No? Okay. Farming Simulator 2018. Days gone? Maybe? Or, or is that... No, this is actually the Scaleborn teaser trailer. It's, uh, it's now a uh, dragon farming game. You raise dragons on a farm. It's State of Decay 2. Did anybody play the first State of Decay? Yeah. I 
look, another zombie game. Because we hadn't had enough of those lately. I don't think we had any zombie games released in 2017, or 2016. We did, it's just they're not that good. Yeah, there's no shortage of zombie games released. There's always no shortage of freaking zombie games released. Now are they going to do anything unique with them? By the looks of it, no. This is totally State of Decay, I'm telling you. Yeah, this looks like State of Decay, too. I'm not writing it down until I see a title, but uh, yeah, I'm guessing it's State of Decay, too. State of Decay is just one of those games that just passed over everybody's radar. What are they doing, like an MMO style here? Oh, you're just trying to move with a party or something, I guess. If it has multiplayer like uh, Dying Light, then I might be interested. But otherwise, I really don't give a damn. Oh, we've got base building stuff. Oh boy, crafting mechanics. Wall. I will build a wall and make the zombies pay for it. Okay, necessary Trump joke. Check. <laughs> Dude, cannibalism all the way. Let's be honest. How did you get caught by the fat guy zombie? Hey man, <laughs> they're persistent. <laughs> That's probably the best thing about this game. We're just opening a door and slamming a zombie into it. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> that was yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> Ew! Oh god, it's Shrek. And there goes Shrek. It's the swamp now, guys. Oh god, there's Shrek. It's all over now. Ooh. Rest in pieces. Whoa! Rest in pieces, literally. Oh, Christ. I am all for these gibs. Die, fat pig, die! You couldn't have shown up like 10 seconds ago? No. Would have saved, saved your friends? That would have been too convenient, though. Poor Danny. Turn into a zombie. Please tell me this is multiplayer. I really want to play this. I don't think the first data decay was multiplayer. No, but if this one is, it'd be really cool. Shit. So it's a zombie survival game with crafting elements. That is so Dying unique. Light. Yeah, State of Decay Play the first State of Decay, you'll love it. I'm, it's, it's a zombie survival game with crafting elements. That has totally never been done before. Scavenger Studios. By absolutely everybody. What is this? Star no, Star Wars, never mind. Looks like a Pixar movie. It does. It Telltale? Does. Oh god, no. <laughs> Shut up, Garrett. Again, it looks like a Pixar movie. And here we don't, see the Don't friend... starve? Here we see the French guy. Don't oh, starve? Guy. No, this has gotta be something else. Oh? Ready Player One Hunger Games? <laughs> Didn't we already announce a game like this? It's like Player Unknown Battlegrounds made by Pixar. Borderlands 3? No, never mind. 
Oh god, it's a MOBA. Looks somewhat okay. It's like an arena MOBA? What? Oh, is this Paladins? No, no, this is something else. Darwin Project. Okay. This looks like something really cool. Oh, no. Oh, no. Kyle's gonna be happy. Oh, God. <laughs> See, he's happy. Oh, God, I forgot about the community marketplace thing. Ugh. It's paid mods for Minecraft. It's not even mods, it's just fucking texture packs and skins. I bet it's gonna be like the, uh, when Bethesda tried this. There's gonna be so many people ripping off PC texture packs and trying to sell them. Basically. Oh, I saw that switch. Oh, you think you're clever. Not. Wait, unifying Minecraft, what do you mean? The Windows 10 version, the PC version, the Xbox version, they're basically all the same. So, will I be able to play with Video? Switch buddies and my PC no. buddies? Oh, God, it's oh. video. Uh, yeah, actually. Really? Prob no. Probably. You can already oh, play yep. Pete. Yep, they said it. They said it. I forgot they actually hired Lydia Winters. Wow. I'm surprised. Good job. Wow. That's the. It's not the PC version we know. It's the yeah. Windows 10 version. Yeah, which is still kind of it, but. I'm going to make a skin that's just a giant penis and sell it for $100. It's, it's in blocks. Who? Okay. What? 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 4K. For a game. Where the blocks are 16 pixels by 16 pixels by 16 pixels. How do you do 4K in that? Oh, season two of Minecraft, boys. Never mind. Whoa. Shaders. Oh, it's a graphics pack. So, shaders. Yeah, shaders. <clears throat> Still, looks pretty cool. Looks pretty good. If it's not for free, then it's not worth it. Hell, on PC shaders are rarely ever worth it. Yeah, the game can actually run like this because this is what they they built it from the ground up. They rebuilt it from the ground up, I should say. HDR in Minecraft. What? Mojang? That's the actual pronunciation. No, I refuse. It's Mojang. I refuse. It is actually Mojang. I refuse. I still call it Mojang, but it's it's actually Mojang. Pre-order a graphics pack.
this blockbuster franchise is just one part of the job. Delivering broad, diverse, and new games to Xbox. Bringing the second biggest game ever. Dragon Ball! Make Dragon Ball great again! <laughs> I am a sub- Oh my god! Is this the 2.5D fighting game you were talking about? Yep. Ooh, oh my goodness! Oh, look at that! Oh, there's strength- I don't need strength, I need to beat some ass! It only takes six years to finish a match. You charge up one attack, the game pauses for a week. You continue charging that attack, the game pauses for a week. I, I need I need key collision. Oh, oh. Well, this is a good time for me to bow out for just a second. Well, I am hard. <laughs> I, ooh, I need a fresh, Whoa, I need a fresh pair of pants. I need a fresh pair of pants. Give me a second. Early next year, Jared. Early next year. Exclusive. I need fresh yeah. pants. <laughs> I need I need them now. What is this? My my screen. It's so blurry. What is this? Uh nothing too good, I don't think. Although I can't say anything. What is this? Looks like Daisy. It's not Daisy. Was it that? It's not Black Desert Online. Oh God, no. If it is, I'll be surprised. But I don't think it is. It's... It must be more for it could be more Skyrim vibe, vibe to be honest. It does look like it's a Skyrim game. Wait, I'm getting the hint of like a Final Fantasy 14. It's not Final Fantasy. with Dark Souls. It's, it's not Black Final Desert Fantasy. Online. Oh it's my Black lord! Desert Online. That like, is Black Desert is it? Online, my it's boy. It's an MMO. I'm surprised. I mean, it's on Steam, but. Are we sure this is Black Desert? I don't know. It looks like it, though. I want this MMO, if it's an MMO. Yo, that's my Warlock class. class. There we go. Okay. So it's Black Desert? Okay. It might be. We're we just don't watching know. gameplay footage right now, and we're streaming to other people. There's the wizard. Oh, the wizard looking nice. It's not plugged in. Light switch right over there by the door. Oh, come on, what is this? Come on. Please be Black Desert Online. It's already on Steam, but it's Xbox One, too. That's surprising. Yeah, they're taking it off Steam and moving it to the Windows Store. Black Desert, yeah. Boom! Caught it! <laughs> I'm surprised. I have to oh. leave an earbud out now because my grandfather should to me. No, we're all right. At least meet yourself. So we don't I'm not muting screen. myself. So we'll get it in the stream. Yeah, I don't think he'll get in the stream. I think it'll be fine. What is this? Paris. Well, we know this. Tim's well, yeah, Bioshock? I know it's Paris, but... No, Odd Tales. Nah. I've never heard of Odd Tales. Can't be. Okay, it's not bad. What is this? Because they're going to say directed by, it's going to be a, some cinematic experience kind of game. Oh lord, it's 8-bit. Um, what? This is definitely a story driven game, I can already tell. What is going yeah, on? Yeah, this is totally a story driven game.
Looks good though. The last night. Huh. Oh, Peter just got unplugged. Dang it. I mean, it looks cool. Yeah, but on PC, it's apparently only coming to the Windows 10 store. So uh, nobody's ever going to buy nope. it on PC. I will. So isn't there like 22 exclusives? Yeah, but they must be showing them all off right now. Probably. Oh, let's get moved to consoles. Francis Vendetti. First show. Oh, wait. What? What is that game? What is that game? Um... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? This looks like Broken Age. Doesn't this look be. like Broken Age? It might be. No, um, Broken Age wasn't a platformer. I think. It's, nope. it's lost me, guys. It's lost me. I think that's the point. I can't tell what this is. It looks it looks cool, I'll give it that. The artful escape. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Do you see what it said coming when it's damn ready? <laughs> what the Kingdom Hearts community needs to be told. Coming when it's damn ready. Now what is <gasps> Yo So it is coming to consoles. Cool. Looks cool. As anime Dark Souls, I'm all in. Anime Dark Souls, huh? Yo, she cute though. Brooks. She's cute, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, she's yeah, no, spiky tail. You're honest. What weave shit did I just come back to? Code name. It's such a Dark Souls anime. Bandai Namco too, so hey. Oh, so it literally is Dark Souls an anime. Yeah. The year of weeaboos. God, I hope not. The year of weeaboos. The year of weeaboos. <laughs> No, Jarrett. Jarrett, yes. There's much to be learned by looking beyond borders. Our first party is also a place of innovation and creativity. Today, I'm excited to share with you an extended look. Sea of Thieves. From Rare's shared world adventure, Sea of Thieves. I'm actually looking forward to this one, guys. Guys, I'm running out of lines on my paper. Bosun Bill! Pirate game. I'm in. Eh. Okay, so it's a multiplayer experience. I'm already mad on it. Multiplayer pirate game? Oh, yeah. Gooch, you know what you and I are doing. You pilot, I shoot. Ooh. Wreck of the Cursed Dawn. <laughs> I'm just designing it. Joke. We haven't finished designing it yet. And breathe. So the stream is a good seven seconds behind you guys, by the way. Rip. No, push your luck. Push that luck. For gigantic humps, lumps of iron, these are surprisingly portable. Are 
Great pass on the injury. Well, rip that guy. Swin Brawlin Becca. I love that name. <laughs> Pathetic Dave. Pathetic Dave. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, this narrator is really, really good. Also face the roaming remains of those raiders who came before you, caught short in pursuit of their own legends. So it's a cartoony pirate treasure hunting game. Well, I know what I'm getting. <laughs> Just pulled up a random banana. Bosun Bill! This game does look really cool. It would be easy to come a cropper in these claustrophobic caves. You don't want to have loads of people in the chat telling you what to do anyway. Don't mind that. It's probably nothing. Just kids. <laughs> I really wish it was possible for this narrator to just do the whole game. While you're playing so this it, is a team. This is like a really well done. Undisturbed for a long, long time. Hey, what up? That has to be the spot. You can practically taste the deep dream. This is the Microsoft uh, conference. My cousin just. That storm outside was nipping. I mean, the you? Oh, it's fine. We're just streaming. We're streaming and reacting to it. This I'm is. All in um, this game. I'm all in. This is. Hold on, I'm gonna mute myself right quick, guys. Okay. Gonna... Looks pretty meh, to be honest. Hold on, one. If you've got your hands full, it's up to your crew to watch your back. And while they're doing that, it's time for another strategic withdrawal with the loot. Nope, not that way. That's it. Easy now. Yeah, I'm in on this. Alright, I'm back. I'm all in on this game. Yeah. For some reason my audio just doesn't sound the best. 
I can barely hear you guys. Look, ship to ship combat, treasure hunting, pirate ships. Ship to ship combat, you also have multiplayer. Get the multiplayer aspect. This is pretty cool. I am so in. I'm very interested. This. This game looks freaking sick. Fire! He put himself in the cannon and is going to go shot now. It's a pirate game where you can do absolutely ludicrous things. Yeah. Okay, this is pretty cool. Caribbean multiplayer open-ended pirate game still don't get the point <laughs> okay that that looks pretty cool I got my eyes on that one yeah. more exclusives here we go they're finally getting some thank exclusives you Microsoft <clears throat> what is Not this a watch exclusive so that means it's probably a uh... A PC game being released. I was gonna say it's Prey, but... Tacoma? Tacoma. What are you doing over there? Oh, that was that uh, weird Kickstarter project that I saw. That's Bobsy. No, that's gonna be Conquer at least. I think. That's Conquer. Dang. Yeah, so we're getting a new Conquer. Hey, they're bringing Conquer back. Cool. <laughs> Is that I that think Conquer? at least. No, that's not no, that's Conquer. Conquer. What is this? Bobsy. <laughs> <laughs> Is this like Project Spark? Oh Are they bringing god, this I think it's Project Spark. Again. Did anybody give a crap the first time? We did, remember? Yeah, and we discovered it. Well, no. No, it's a platforming game. We need platforming. Huh. With giant stone robot guys. Yes, yeah, what the hell? Looks freaking adorable. I hate, I hate it already. It's <laughs> <laughs> adorable, I hate it. <laughs> An onion that farts. Interesting. This looks like a good game to play with, like, your little kids watching or something. Super Lucky's Tale. What is this game, though? It, it looks familiar. It's Super Lucky's Tale is what it's called. It's what? Super Lucky's Tale. Huh. They showed it uh, on the side. 
<gasps> oh no! I didn't see that coming. I mean, it looks Do adorable. It's Dr. Robotnik. I mean, it's Bowser. I mean, it's Ganondorf. I mean, it's... And I just kill you. You killed the joke. I know. Well done. I, I should have stopped after Bowser. You really should have. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Oh, is it this game that never came out? Okay, the so, oh, they're actually going to talk about this game. I was wondering if they're going to get to this. The likes of which has never been seen before. This is the weird, um, Cuphead or something? Oh, yeah, Cuphead. Cuphead. I thought it was Candy. Wait, this game came out. No, it didn't. No, they announced yeah, it, like, it two years ago at E3. Yeah. September 29th. Nice. Finally. I believe that when I see it. Man, I'll give it faith. Yeah, but that game has just seemingly been in development hell for a few years now. Another exclusive. How many exclusives is that, then? Uh, well, do we count Xbox One only, or Xbox... Terry Crews, Crackdown. Crackdown 3. Wait. Is there already Crackdown 3? Oh. So this is what Terry Crews meant as he was going to be here at E3. Because this is far from over. In fact, it's only just begun. <laughs> I love it already. Now, today, you throw the name wrong, tomorrow you'll be throwing. Oh, this is screams me. And that's Terry Crews, so I'm interested. Yeah, that's uh -oh. Terry Crews, I'm interested. And it's Psycho Terry Crews. If I play as Terry Crews, count me in. Please tell me I can play as Terry Crews. Yep, Terry Crews! Oh, yes. Okay, Crackdown is looking to be pretty good. Crackdown looks awesome. Not gonna lie. This is like an even better version of Saints Row, I would say. Well, the this is Saints what, Row. This is what Saints Row should have been. It was Saints Row three or four. What was it? The Super Saints Row three and four. Yeah, it's definitely Crackdown three. So you can generate weapons out of thin air. Yep, I'm getting this game. Yep, I'm getting it. <laughs> Throwing cars, jumping around with jetpacks. Looks like multiplayer and chaos, so... Yeah. We're all getting it. Yeah. Yes, yeah, we're all buying this game. I will make my PC run this game. <laughs> I will make my desktop play this game. If it kills me. November 7th, alright, not bad. November 7th, alright. Boys, get your wallets ready by then. Yeah, it's more exclusive. Oh, no, I think it's over. Is it, is it over? It might be. I mean, it's 5.13 now. I know, but this Osiris, eh, not bad. Ooh, that looks cool. Raiders. Unruly Heroes. Oh, that looks nice. Unruly Heroes. <clears throat> Path of Exiles Diablo, got it. Battle Right. Surviving Mars. That's all Kyle, Surviving Mars. I'm just Stable seeing nothing Fortune. but ARPGs. Oh, Surviving Mars. Hearthstone, those, basically. Those weren't ARPGs. ARPGs. Oh, ARPG is about to say. Robocraft. And among other That things. game looks like fun. It's crap. Donk Lords? Don't bother with Robocraft. Ooh, Brawl Out. Who wants these hands? Uh oh, did you see that little flicker in the screen? 
Dark and light. Ooh, I heard about this game. That looks like fun. Ooblet? Dude. Strange hey, so Brigade. Riverbank. Oh, that looks like fun. Hello, neighbor. That game creeps me out. Shift. Conan, of course. Conan Exiles. ID at Xbox. Are these? Oh, indie developers. Okay. Oh, okay. I thought it meant like id software. I was like, what? At Xbox, it's not just about finding creative artists. It's about empowering them and nurturing them, helping shine a light on their work, making it easy no, it's not. to build and share their creations. That's why the ID at Xbox program is so important. The team has released over 500 games on Xbox mm, nice. and Windows 10 through the ID. 500 Xbox. titles. And this is not just a milestone for the program and the independent developer community. It's a milestone for everyone who loves great games. I hope you're reminded today why it's so great to be a gamer on Xbox. Action, adventure, story, Skill, surprise. This and 12 year olds screwing your mother. All together. Let's start with a game who uh, Thank God for all these exclusives. Man, Xbox One, Xbox One is getting some really good stuff this year. They needed it. <laughs> Aurora 44. The dark is older than the light. What the? What on earth is this? I like it already. It looks a lot. It looks like Dark Souls running on lower graphics settings. Looks like kind of like a smudged dark. Yeah, smudgy Dark Souls. It is. It basically is. The character with no face freak me out, but. Characters with no face, but they have facial features like a mine. Oh, I think this uh, is uh, the creepy. queen from Game of Thrones who's stalking right now. The queen from Game of Thrones? Yeah, uh, queen. Not Cersei. Or, yeah, Cersei. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Oh God! Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, this looks like lower graphics Dark Souls. You know, I like it. Down to the boss design. Ash. You know what? I'll give it a I'll give it a try. If I get a chance, I'll give it a try. I need to see some freaking gameplay first. Um, we did see some. That was barely gameplay. That was all pre-rendered crap. World no, we. Oh, <gasps> oh, oh. Skate. No, I don't care anymore. Then. Skateboard. Life is strange, yo. Life is. Life they is got strange. a sequel. Yeah, it was announced a couple weeks ago. It's either a sequel or a prequel. I think it's a prequel. I thought they said it was definitely gonna be a sequel. Well, they're making two games: a prequel and a sequel. Because that's Max. Huh. So well, I gotta tell Morgan now because she absolutely loves. She that absolutely might... loves YouTubers that play that game. That might be Rachel. No, because it was Max. Oh, that might be Rachel. Yeah. I don't know. Max like Max not... grown up. It does. I don't know though. Chloe. Oh. Is that Chloe? Oh, that's Chloe's bed. Hair or is it still. That's Chloe in the past. Ah. So this is a prequel, okay. That or some weird mystery of what happens after you decide to save the city. No, that's, this is definitely a prequel. There's no way. Yep. Prequel, because they have Rachel. Rachel's alive in this. Rachel? Prequel, prequel, prequel. What's it called though? 
Life is, Life is strange. Before the storm. Okay. Before oh, the it's storm. Three episodes. Okay, you know what? That's fine. Thank you. Alright. And there's one more. Monolith? Monolith? Oh, it's gonna be the next. Shadow of Mordor. Yeah. That's all you, Kyle. Yeah, I'm all in here. I freaking Middle love Earth. Shadow of Middle Earth. Or Shadow of Mordor. I love as they show up as things like the them having like custom interactions with you. It's like you tore off my arm and left me scarred. In the battle you will have cut off their arm at some point and they will actually acknowledge it if they come back. I still never got why this game is good. So now I'm gonna kill you for all these orcs to see. Always said you were an orc. It's about the situation. Oh, so they actually kill each other now. <clears throat> well, there's a lot of very natural story building. The combat is fantastic. The world was fantastic. Still never saw why it was good. It was a hell of a fun game. Not for me. We introduced a way to create unique personal stories for every player. And in Shadow of War, we're expanding the Nemesis system. Two new features forging an army of followers and Nemesis fortresses. Sweet. And recruit this Olog, Bruce the Chopper, to expand our army. Then we're going to assault a fortress controlled by one of Sauron's overlords. Yes, the Arkham style combat system in a Lord of the Rings epic epic fantasy setting. It's like everything I could ever want. I'm sure we have the capabilities to destroy you, giant man. Okay, so we can't run up the front. <clears throat> Jedi mind trick. Cora. I didn't know Jedi were in this game. Damn. Right, Lord, Dark Lord. Same thing, really. The end results mean ripping spines out. He says his name is Bruce. Bruce. I'm calling him Bruce. No one gets to you without my say so. Follow eventually. On your flag in Mordor, you'll need to do a deep. There's a fortress nearby. They say it's ruled by a two-headed troll big as a mountain. Deadly smart. Which, oh, I guess he'd have to be given the two head. Send a message to Sauron and get yourself some nice new digs as part of the bargain. We're not going to do this alone. Gather your troops. <laughs> the dialogue in this is really interesting. So we already have a few loyal followers in our army. Jesus Christ. Which means we're ready to assault the fortress and overthrow the overlords. So many people in chat. We're enormously expanding the open world of Mordor to new regions like Saragost and Kirith Ungol. Mordor's a massive, living, breathing world filled with orc societies, tribes, and wildlife, as well as stories and secrets. You cleave me in two. Any other orc would have died, but I survived. More than that, I thrived. 
My brother's coming back together, stronger than ever. But they didn't make me into what I am. You did. You created the machine. No! Imagine being ambushed by the machine. He's trapped here to cause more to a seeking vengeance. One of the seven new war tribes banished. So he's Scorpion from Mortal Kombat, except Orc. Yeah, but he's randomly generated. So at some point he cut his half his face off in a previous battle and created a new Orc to fight against. Instead of killing the machine, we'll dominate him, so we can take advantage of his ability during the Fortress Assault. But before we charge headfirst into battle, we should plan our attack and select our followers. I like this guy. I will handle the overlord. You focus on the defenders. Define focus. Define focus. Define focus. God, I need this game to be good. Please be good. I actually want to play this game. I'm, re I I'm really interested now. One more. Thank you very much. One more. Exclusive world premiere. Live music. Okay, this is gonna break my heart or no? Am I gonna feel regret for playing this game? Is this game gonna break me in two? What? Fuck. No, it's just Conqueror's Bed for a day, the remake. <laughs> Are you playing okay. with a feather? No? Okay. Beautiful music. And a frog. I'm already in love. The soundtrack's fucking beautiful. I what this game's about. I want it. I want it. Ori. Okay. It looks. Oh, Ori in the Blind Forest? Yeah. I mean, the Will of Wisp. The oh, Will an Ori Wisp. sequel. Yeah. A new journey begins. Oh, well, then it's a platformer. Yep, that's all me, boys. 
Did you play the original Ori? Nope. You should. Absolutely gorgeous game. We believe that games like books, movies, and music should be celebrated and enjoyed high. by countless. <laughs> yeah, dude. These games. And his are so eyes are like droopy. Man. His eyes are like droopy so much. He's, he's been back crying. He's like, we did it. We did it. The freaking Xbox turned on this time. <laughs> the Xbox turned on. And we've seen tremendous growth in the program. Today, our library of games stands at 385 titles. And That's, over wow. half of Xbox One gamers have played a backward compatible game. But I've heard your feedback, and you want more. Today, oh. I'm pleased. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's I going down. That. Oh, classic Xbox, huh? Classic Xbox games. Were there any good originals for the classic Xbox? <gasps> Dude, Star Wars Commandos. It's on PC. I have it on Steam. Our team of 007, uh, James Bond 007 from Russia with Love. Original Xbox game to today's Xbox One library, including. A Never played it. They're bringing back Crimson Skies. Crimson Skies. And it looks great. And like the Xbox 360 games, the Crimson games, Skies developers went out of business. Games will look better and play better across the Xbox One family. Sweet. So more to share about this program when it launches later this year. I'm proud of the library of games available today on Xbox One. All of them will benefit from the performance and power when you play them on Xbox One X. But we won't stop there. I'm excited to announce that if you own Gears of War 4, Forza Horizon 3, Killer Instinct, Halo Yay. 2, or Minecraft. For free! Be providing eh. 4K updates to these titles for free. Well, should that already be a free thing? And we already That's Skyrim. Skyrim. Hey, Injustice. Injustice, Injustice 2. That are planning to provide free Final Fantasy! Hey. And Fallout! And Doom! Titles. Fantasy 15. People still play that? I thought Final Resident Fantasy 15 didn't come out for the Xbox. It came out on all platforms besides PC. And Rocket, League, just to name a few. Rocket League? Oh god, if their servers weren't bad enough. Large library of titles that you own today that will automatically get better on Xbox One X. Today, we showcase some of the world's greatest creators. With a lineup of different types of games for every type of gamer. We showed you the largest and most diverse lineup of new games that have ever appeared on our stage. From every corner of the globe, from developers large and small. Thank you, Microsoft. Microsoft. I, want, I, want, I need Cuphead already. They teased that game like two, three years ago. And you're also going to be able to play all of the biggest cross-platform blockbusters on Xbox One. And every game will play great across the Xbox One family. And on Xbox One, all right. it runs every single game you've seen even better. Okay, Xbox impressed me. So if you haven't joined the Xbox One family... So 250, yeah. Uh... This week, you'll find Xbox One S available in the U.S. for $249. And on November 7th, we'll begin World War of Xbox One X. <sighs> powerful console at $499. I'd rather just get a PC for $500. Yeah, for $500, I'd just get a PC. And performance on the Xbox One. Oh. We close today's show by looking from the big earliest days. Really great part. They've been with us from the earliest days. Project. From the b earliest days. Yeah. And they're building incredible <laughs> games that takes advantage of the power and performance of the Xbox One family and the new EA, of course, well, I'm doing that. Please 
Oh, he's gonna talk about something they talked about yesterday. New IP. It's the lifeblood of our It's also Except for EA, who recycles the same game every EA, fucking year. We have teams bringing up a lot of projects, and only the greatest will make it their way to you. Flash forward and squeeze the most microtransactions into. It's all a part of the creative process. And it's worth it because when you find something special, there is no better feeling as a developer than introducing players to a brand new world. And as a player, there's no better feeling than losing yourself in a completely new experience. This is Anthem. Our developers of Bioware have been creating something truly special. This is Anthem, guys. Lush. Savage, mysterious, and ever-changing. Filled with interesting characters and new types of gameplay you'll enjoy with your friends for years to come. This is what's possible when you take an extraordinary vision and combine it with the latest technology and hardware. Amazing concepts become possible. Great ideas become reality. So here we are. And we are so excited to share this with all of you. On behalf of the team at Bioware, let's see what this game looks like. Running. Call it Anthem. With John Warner from Bioware to show you Anthem. Well, yeah. What else were they gonna show? They said Bioware at the beginning of this. Dragon Age. <laughs> Hi, I'm John Warner, game director for Anthem. Oh. Anthem's gameplay. Now we're just kidding, it's uncharted. <laughs> this looks... Uh, um... This looks right up my alley, please. This is right up my main street. Kinky. Looks like... Looks like Jim Carrey. They said they could handle it. I just saw an assassin walk by in the background. Unbelievable. Yeah, I see what you're talking about. It was stupid. I'm sorry. But they're still out there. Somewhere. If you could just bring them back. Then you can leave. Hell or high water. Big robot. In the world of Anthem, you and your friends are freelancers. The heroes who leave the safety of the walls of Fort Tarsus to explore the unknown. Multiplayer. Let's join two players as they head out on an expedition. It's on. You ready to go? I'm just grabbing some supplies. Just about ready. Oh, they're doing this crap where they're gonna try to act like a team. Same crap they did with Division. Yeah. Where it was just so forced it hurt. This looks so cool though. Reminds me a little of Warframe and Destiny. Every player will own an array of exosuits we call javelins. These suits They're almost done, I'll be right there. And are heavily customizable so they look and feel how you want. Oh yeah! Oh damn! Oh yes, please. I'm already sold. I'm sold. This is a right this wait a until reviews kind of thing for me. Explore with your friends. Each javelin exosuit has its own unique playstyle. The Ranger is balanced in all purpose. Colossus tanking powerhouse? Oh yes, please. Let's see what's up here. The world of Anthem is hostile and threats can come from any direction. The dynamic world with the unexpected is around every corner. <laughs> I love her reaction. Yeah, he seems like a problem. 
for another day. Seems like a problem for another day. Uh oh. Did they even show Anthem gameplay yesterday at the EA conference? No, they teased it though. They had a teaser, yeah. Oh yes! The Colossus is me. AOE kind of guy? He's a destroy everything and be a tank kind of guy. Yeah, that's your Colossus. Shit. Oh, <laughs> oh yes. It is I'm incredible. liking this normal suit. It's a oh. ranger suit. Yeah, a ranger. I'm liking it. Now they show up a magic suit. I'm all in. This is like Warframe almost. Yeah, it doesn't remind me a lot of Warframe minus ninja moves. Which is really all the fun of Warframe. You can your javelin exosuit with gear that brings devastating power to combat. Well, that's Sounds a big like robot. enemies from Warframe. Mortar? Oh. <laughs> Jarrett, it's all you, buddy. I am loving that so far. Justice reigns in Radiation storm? Oh. Hey, that Sandra chick looks like she's got magic. So it's a four person co op. Okay, this looks pretty nice. Yo, I saw magic. I saw a little bit of it. Saw a little bit of that magic. Well, we know Garrett's class. <laughs> yep. Looks like you get the ranger class, Kyle. Sounds good to me. Or whatever the I... other guy is. The tank? Me? Oh yes, that's me. No, there's four people in there right now. <laughs> yeah, that's me up there in the school! It looks so good! Oh my god! <laughs> it looks so nice! Look at you, buddy! It looks so nice! Whee! Yeah, I am, I am getting this. Oh Please. yes. Give me the release date. Yeah. Release date? Release date? Next year. Next we year. we are playing totally this. on Xbox though. It's PC. only on Xbox though. It's coming to PC. It is? Yeah, it's the Every... Windows Store logo in the bottom left corner. Hell yeah. So we're playing together, right? Yes. We will be playing this Anthem game together. Well, here's hope they fix the freaking Windows Store before all these start coming out. Looks like that was the end of it. Yeah, that's the, probably the end of it. Alright, well... Holy crap, guys. That was... <sighs> that was absolutely nuts. I don't know if Spencer might have an uh, outro speech. Jared, I, I think you're gonna have to buy an Xbox, buddy. I'm getting my PC. You get your PC built? Yeah. The only thing I'm really looking forward to is that pirate game. Uh, Steve Thieves. Thieves. Yeah, Steve Thieves. It's the only thing I saw that I was really that I'm now looking forward to. Build true power. Buy a PC. Oh my yeah. God.
That's it. Yep. Good job, Microsoft. Nice work, guys. Well done. Alright. So, uh, what do you guys think? I love okay. it. Hold on, I, I might flicker in and out for a second. Give me one second. I thought, oh, it, I thought it went okay, pretty spectacular, we especially compared to the Microsoft. Microsoft did great last year. Not so much the year before. I'll give Microsoft <laughs> this year. They changed a lot of the style of how they like the, the number of games. First off, was absolutely incredible. The style in which they presented the games was also really, really cool as well because they kept it just kept on coming. And of course, the game variancy like there were some platformers, there were like first person shooters. I'm very impressed with how that turned out. That is really cool. What do you think, Jarrett? Anthem. Anthem, 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 Anthem. anthem. <laughs> I'm buying Anthem too, buddy. <laughs> Alright. Um, Honestly, what do you give the con huh? Sea of Thieves is like the only thing they showed off that I'm actually looking forward to. It just... It, it seems like a... Uh, it seems like a very unique game. I've, I've been wanting a pirate game for years now. Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Wasn't that good. Black Flag was pretty good, but you had to get off the boat to do the assassin missions, which ruined the whole thing. Pirates of the Caribbean and Mo. That, that was game wasn't. Game. That wasn't <laughs> terrible. I still don't think that was terrible. It wasn't very good, but it wasn't very terrible either. I'm, I'm going to say this right now uh, Assassin's Creed does look interesting. But I think I'm actually going to hold off on that one just to see where it goes. Um, Anthem, obviously I'm going to buy that. They finally gave us good exclusives. That's all Xbox needed. Exclusives. That's all Xbox needed. A lot of exclusives. They fixed a lot of issues, so I'm, you know what? If, if, those are, if some of those games are only consoles, if they're the ones that I wanted, I might buy an Xbox. Just, just get your PC. Yeah, I'll just build up my PC. I'll just upgrade it. B believe so, me, most, most of those will be on PC eventually. Yeah. So, uh, I say we give it a rating out of 10. I give it an 8. Jarrett gives it an 8? Yeah, I give it a solid 7. 7? There are a lot of things right. I liked and a lot of things that I think should not have been announced. I'm gonna give it a nine. That that was that was really really good. Well Ooh. done, Microsoft. Doubt y'all ever hear this. Those boots are gonna be good when we get there. <laughs> the boots are gonna be sick once we get up there. So, all right. I think uh, the Microsoft conference starts at eleven. Correct. Yep, so later tonight we'll or be back. Bethesda. The Bethesda conference yep. starts at 11. Yep, so um, we will be live right here on the same channel at 10.30 tonight. I can go ahead and get that event scheduled up in just a bit. 10 o'clock? Yep. 10.30. 10.30. Yep, sorry, 10.30 tonight. Okay. Uh, we, will, uh, we will be ready to go right then. And, yeah, we'll kick it off right then. Get a pre-show going like we did for the this conference. Uh, and that should be that should go pretty great. All right. Well, thank you guys for listening in on us ramble and shit. Thank you guys so much for tuning in as we watch the Microsoft E3 2017 press conference. Uh, look forward to seeing you guys doing that. And again, we are going to be at E3 on the 13th. So keep your eyes on the channel for that one, as well as for live streams as well, because I'm going to see if we can live stream some of the stuff that we do as well. If we're not, probably you won't see it. We're probably going to try and stream a little bit from the conference center itself. Yeah, probably. There's a lot of media rooms, and I'm looking for places to do stuff. But yeah, thank you guys so much. And uh, Kyle, you're free yeah. to end the stream. Well, thank you guys. This is the first video for our week uh, week long E3 coverage over here at Knights of the Folding Table channel. I'm Kyle, joined by Jared and Gooch, and we are signing off for the first conference. Bye, everybody. So long.